So, Mr. Chapman, I want you to understand that we have no warrants for your arrest. Right now, you're being detained. As of right now, you're not free to leave. Listen, I'm like, I'm like I'm pretty sure I have a drama paper with me right now. <laughs> well, as long as you cooperate, we'll get you out of here shortly. Uh, now, I just need you to sign this, stating you understand your rights. Now, I'm just going to ask you a few questions, and of course, if you're willing to talk to us now, you have the right to stop at any point. Listen, I know what this is about, but like, anything that happened last night between Abby and me is a complete misunderstanding, okay? Who's Abby? She's my, my ex-girlfriend. Why don't you tell me about your day yesterday? I was at a golf tournament with my parents. We got dinner. I went to the bar, I had a few drinks. It was then that I decided to go talk to Abby. Why'd you want to talk to Abby? So last week we like got in this fight because she thought I cheated on her. And then in revenge, she, she cheated on me. I found out she was cheating on me, so I, I wanted to talk to her about that. When I got there, she was like already freaked out, screaming at me, telling me to fuck off. I kept telling her to chill out and I like, tried shaking her to calm her down. But... Did you ever hit her? No, no, she was, she was hitting her own head against the wall, like, uh, like, she was like flopping like a fish out of water. Okay, Kyle, just a few more questions and you'll be on your way. Um, when you came to Abby's apartment, how did you get in? You know, you know I just went, what up, Abby? You knocked? A actually, it, it might have been locked. I, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I broke the lock. I, and yeah. Might that have anything to do with the alcohol? Maybe, I how many drinks did you have? Uh, probably three or four at the golf course. Probably two glasses of wine at dinner. A few at the bar. How many at the bar? Together, five. You guys have to understand, I, I just wanted to talk to her. I, I never hit her. I never wanted to scare her. I, Pilot, relax. Last thing, Kyle. Have you ever threatened Abby before? Never. So, why did you take her laptop? I, I, I didn't, I, I don't, I don't know, I, I was drunk and I... Is it because there's evidence there of you threatening No, I, I have no idea why I took the computer. You can check our messages. And you said no violence, so why did you kick down the door? I told you, I just wanted to talk. That's more than just wanting to talk. Is that how you were with her? It was the kind of your way or the highway kind of thing? No, no, no. You can ask Abby. She, herself, she'll tell you, I just wanted to talk. And things got aggressive. I, I tossed on the bed and left. You believe me, right? I have to tell you something. She's dead. She's dead? You know. I don't know. How the fuck is she dead? You killed her. No, no, I... She, she's, not, she's not dead. How, how the fuck is she dead? I just told you how. That's why you took the computer, right? Because you had threats to kill her from a past email? Because you couldn't accept that she had moved on and hooked up with someone else. You went in there to talk with her, but it got out of control, right, Kyle? You kicked in her door. She started to fight with you, so you punched her in the She's head. She's not dead! You panicked and stole her laptop. I want to see her. She's dead, Kyle. Just out of protocol, I'm going to need you to put your hands behind your back. Please tell me she's not dead. You know what? 
I wish I could. 22 years old. 22 years old and her life is done.